Hello everyone, um, hope you're well. My name is Gemma and this is The Daily Thread. Lovely to have you back with me today. Um, I'm sorry about a little gap again. Um, I just want to film really when I've got enough content to share with you and last week I didn't feel like I did. You know what life's like, sometimes you've got a lot of makes and um, things to share and sometimes you just haven't because other, th other things get in the way. Um, I haven't made an awful lot to be honest, I've only got one make to show you but I have got some plans to share with you um, so I hope you find that interesting. Um, my latest make is actually um, just from a remnant of the Visco Chambre fabric that I made my latest blog post in for Felicity Fabrics. Um, I made the Saturday skirt set and I think I shared that with you last time. If I didn't, I'll, I'll pop in a picture for you, but I think I did. Um, and you'll have to excuse these shorts. You can probably see just here that they are the most creased thing in the whole world because I've just dug them out of the wash basket. Um, I made them just in time for the hot weather at the weekend and now it's tipping it down with rain so they're not appropriate for today <laughs> but I dug them out just to show you what they look like and here they are in all their creased glory. Um, like I say this is a, a visco chambre it's I feel like it's got a little bit of a sheen to it um, and as you can see it's very drapey. Um, it's slightly darker in person than it comes up on the screen but um, so those are the Bailey shorts by Tasuti Patterns and I did speak about them as a plan um, a little while ago. I made the size 12 um, and I think they fit pretty well. I wouldn't want to go any smaller. Um, the pattern is quite interesting really so obviously it is just shorts so I know some people aren't that interested. I wear shorts a lot in the warm weather um, because I just feel the most comfortable in them. Um, it's got a hem facing so it's quite a deep one which is actually really quite nice um, and that's a nice finish. The pocket construction is a little bit different on, on this pattern and to be honest, I didn't like it. It felt overly complicated and I don't know, maybe it was just me not being able to get the instructions overly well, but also I don't think I've done it overly well either. Um, this is the best bit if you can see that. Um, so it's got... I don't even know how to explain it um, but you have to catch this tiny bit here and there's a raw edge just here and I was really worried that they would all fray. Now can you see I haven't caught that one quite right and on the other side as well so I'm gonna have to go back in and just sort of take a little bit off that so that the raw edge is inside and I suppose that's why I didn't like it really it just felt a bit complicated just for a pocket <laughs> but I can see what they're going for the finish if you do it right it will be really nice um, I think it would also sit better on a firmer fabric than this it's a little bit too drapey for it um, so yeah I'd try it again um, I'd probably try and make them in like a cotton or um, a viscose linen or something with a little bit more structure. So that's the, the only make I've made in the last couple of weeks really. Um, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, this is another Felicity Fabrics um, blog make from quite a while ago now and it's the Anna Allen Anthea blouse. And if you can see <laughs> these dots are textured, it's it's a crazy fabric really I feel like it might be made for cushions or something but um, myself and Liz the baker that sews have both made um, an Anthea blouse in this really fun fabric and actually it works well it's a cotton 
um, just like I say with these little fuzzy dots so that's quite fun haven't worn it in a while actually so it was perfect for this sort of miserable rainy day um I thought I'd share with you some plans that I've got because I've actually got a last minute holiday planned with my sister which is really exciting and that's going to be in October um, we're going to Lake Garda just for three nights and I'm sure it'll be over before we know it but I'm really excited and if anybody's been to Lake Garda before I'd love to hear your tips um, of like restaurants or places that you enjoyed because we've got a vague plan um, but if you've got any recommendations that would be lovely. Um, so Italy will still be relatively warm, um, you know, 18-ish degrees in the daytime, so I think I'll still be able to get away with my shorts and stuff. Um, so I thought I'd share my plans just for that, really. So I've got about a month um, to make a few bits and bobs. As you know, I'm not the fastest sewer, so there'll probably be, you know, two or three makes in that time. But I've got four on my list and if I can get them all done, I'd be really pleased. Um, I actually dug out something that's been on my work in progress pile for ages. And yes, it is another pair of shorts, so bear with me. Um, but these are, and you can see they've been folded for ages, the Jenny Dungarees by Cosset Core Patterns. Now I made them, I made the dungarees uh, for a blog post for Backstitch Shop and I needed to make a toile um, to see if they would fit me because I do struggle with jeans and dungarees and you know if you've got a bit of more of a shapely bottom <laughs> like me, um, you need to make sure these things are going to fit. So I toiled and yeah. They're obviously not finished because it is a toile, but I toiled um, the short version so I didn't use too much fabric. And actually I found that I had to take, I think it was three centimetres out of the crotch depth, um, which is unusual for me, but it meant that because I've sewn these up to a certain point and obviously already cut them out, you can do an alteration at that point where you scoop out three centimetres out of the crotch depth and I need to go and go back and look at how you do it because I left it at this certain point and then altered my pattern and cut out the dungarees. Now the dungarees fit me perfectly and um, I'll pop in a picture of me wearing those because um, I do wear them quite a lot and I'm hoping if I can just do this alteration on the shorts that they will fit me really well as well. Um, like I say it's because I've got to this point in the making process that I need to do it that way because next time when I cut another pair my pattern's already altered so I hope that makes sense, but I couldn't let this beautiful um, sort of bright blue denim go to waste. This is from Sew Me Sunshine and I think they still have this because it might be one of their sort of um, staple fabrics. But yeah, I'd love to get those finished. So that's make number one that I'd like to get done for my holiday. Um, the second thing is now I think I've decided to do another Anthea blouse with this fabric and I'm sure a few people in the comments suggested that when I showed this the first time but um, as you can see it's got that scalloped hem so hopefully I can make use of that um, on the hem of the top. It gathers into a cuff so I don't know if I'll be able to do that there as well but yeah I don't know I'm, I need to play around with that one but it goes so nicely with this denim so that would look a lovely outfit um, so that's my second plan an Anthea blouse 
my third plan and I spoke about this a little while ago and you know what I'm like I buy more stuff than I can actually make <laughs> but doesn't everybody um I want to get my Lusk entire bag finished um this came in the Guthrie and Garney kit um a few months ago now and I started tracing out the pattern and then got distracted because you have to um draft it from the instruction the measurement instructions so there's no pattern pieces as such you get the pattern paper in the kit and you draw out the rectangles because that's all they are they're rectangles so hopefully I can get round to that because having a lovely bag like that in Italy would be amazing so yeah that's plan number three and the last one, if I can hopefully get this done, is um, using one of the fabrics I showed you last time. And it's a viscose linen from Fleuritas. And Kaylee gifted me this one, so I'd love to get it made up for her. Um, I'm going to stick to my plan that I mentioned, and it's the Veronica Tuck of the Label here atop. So again... Like, look at this combination of fabrics. It's so nice. So, shorts, top and bag, or shorts, top and bag. I think that goes really nicely. So yeah, that will be the here atop. Can you tell I like spots? <laughs> Um, so that would be a really cute little capsule wardrobe um, for my holiday, if, like I say, I can get them done. Because the snail doesn't always win the race. <laughs> what is it? The tortoise, not the snail. Um, slow and steady doesn't always win the race when you've got a time limit. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're all my plans um, for the next few weeks. I am also making something that needs to be done by this Saturday as it's our friend's wedding reception and I really wanted to make a dress. So I have cut out the peony dress by Fabric Godmother and I cut out a size 12 graded to 14 from the waist and hip. Now I'm still not convinced that this is going to fit me um, but this is, I'm calling it a wearable twirl but I wanted to make it anyway because um, this fabric's really pretty. What I might do is cut down some of the seam allowances because they are um, 1.5 centimetres but I've attached, I don't, you can't see it because it's so busy but here's the waist seam um i've attached the front bodice to the skirt and i've done the back pieces to the skirt as well um then you insert a zip and i guess i'll know at that point whether it's going to work or not i'm really hoping it does obviously um it wasn't going to be my main fabric for the wedding reception i just don't know if i've got time to cut another one and sew it all up by saturday um but i really wanted to use this one because that is amazing isn't it and that would be a lovely wedding guest um outfit dress but <laughs> you know what i mean um but the, the floral will be lovely if, if that's all I can get done. If it doesn't fit, obviously I've got to reassess my plans. Um, but yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, okay, so that's pretty much all I've got to share with you this week. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed seeing my upcoming plans. Um, I'm hoping to be back again next week with some like autumn plans and things um i've definitely got fabrics that i want to make up into garments for the autumn and i've written down a couple of ideas already 
Um, I'd love to know your favourite sort of autumn winter patterns um, and what your plans are as well. Let me know if you think I'm going to get all those things made in time for my holiday. Probably not, <laughs> but I can but try. Um, thank you again for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.